And there it is. You're ready to begin sewing again. So what you want to do is go ahead and test your tension because you just replaced the bobbin and things happen. So we're going to close that. I'm going to bring the needle towards me to bring my needle down. I'm sorry, the um, wheel towards me. And we're going to let it sew a little bit. And I'm just going to use a lever here. Um, and then I'm going to turn it off. And I'm going to go ahead and release the tension, bring the wheel towards me. And then you can kind of bring this out just to make sure the tension's completely released. Sometimes if you're not releasing the tension and you go to pull, your needle is going to break because the way you're pulling it. So you want, you want to make sure that that tension is easy, just like that. I'll bring this down. And then you can look at the back. And now mine is, happens to be perfect. Okay? You know if your tension is wrong if too much thread is coming up off the top. And I'll show you an image of that. It's very difficult for me to um, make that happen. So uh, it just happens sometimes. So right now, this is basically what I'm stitching. Nice and perfect. It's ready to go. If you have too much thread at the top, the bottom one will look very tight, and the top will just be a mess. It'll have lots of bumps and uh, loops and things like that. It's basically it's a loose surface thread, and you need to um, screw the thread clamping nut clockwise and increase the pressure. So this is the pressure uh, gauge here and what it's doing is basically putting more or less pressure on these two pieces so that it releases the thread a little easier or a little harder of course so it's saying if it's very loose if you're having a bunch of threads looping up at the top you need to go ahead and increase the pressure thread or surface thread so you need to turn this clockwise right this way and it'll make it tighter it's kind of screwing it in if you're sewing and there's a lot of bobbin thread and it, it'll jumble up and I've seen this happen on other machines or other times I've worked with things it, on the bottom of the surface here it'll be all jumbled up with threads it's because the bobbin thread is coming up very quickly and a lot of it so what you need to do is loosen the um, how tight the your clamp is here so then you would turn it counterclockwise okay in that direction and that'll loosen the pressure that's getting put on these plates and it'll release the top thread easier so that they're both kind of moving at the same time at the same speed instead of one being so easy to come out and the other one being so tight and that's basically what tension is here so one's tighter and the other one's looser or you know the other one's tighter and the other one's you know backwards so you want to make sure that they're both coming out basically at the same speed at the same tension and that's how you get a good stitch so I hope that makes sense and one last thing I'll show you is how to replace the needle which